this is Tristan at Mahalo, and we are at the Hip Cooks Cooking School in West Los Angeles. And today I'm going to take you through some steps to make roasted garlic mashed potatoes. If you are looking for a basic and a classic mashed potato, check out our other video at mahalo.com for basic mashed potatoes. Alrighty, so I have my potatoes cooked. I've chopped them into small pieces. This is about a pound and a half of russet potatoes. I've left the skin on because we're making dirty mashed potatoes. So oftentimes mashed potatoes are just a vehicle to get cream and butter into our mouth. So why not leave on the skin, get a little added nutrients and some more color in there as well. When you're cooking your potatoes, cook it in really salted water because this is your opportunity to flavor the potato. And by doing that, you will add less salt in the process of mashing. So you want your potatoes to be nice and dry after draining them and cooked thoroughly because they, are, they, they need to be cooked thoroughly. If you have added water, that will kind of dilute the flavors that you're adding into the mashed potatoes, so make sure they're good and dry. Okay, so let's heat the milk. We have half a cup of that whole milk. All right, so as that heats up, let's talk about the roasted garlic. I took one whole bulb of garlic, chopped the top off, put some olive oil on the top, and plunked it in the oven in this little dish at 350 for maybe 45 minutes. The idea here is to get soft garlic. So you can peel the cloves off and break them open, and you can see that the garlic is now soft. It's kind of caramelized, and it's lost a lot of its sharp garlic flavor, and this will add a nice garlicky flavor to your t potatoes, to your mashed potatoes, but you won't be left with um, that, oh my gosh, I have stinky garlic breath because all of that's gone after cooking it. So you'll take each clove and squeeze it out and just make a nice pile, it gets pretty sticky, of the roasted garlic. And then step over to the milk. The milk is scalded. We just want it hot. We just want some bubbles around the outside. You don't want the milk boiling or burning, so do pay attention to your milk. Don't lose track of it. All right, that's nice and warm. Four tablespoons of unsalted butter. It's right into the butter, or right into the milk. And allow it to melt. Mashed potatoes are a great, let's see, what would we say? Template canvas. Mashed potatoes are a great canvas for really adding any flavors that you want. Um, I just chose the roasted garlic today. So if you want to add herbs, rosemary, sage, parsley, all of those are great additions to mashed potatoes. All right, my milk is ready. My butter is almost melted. And you want to make sure that the pot that you're going to be mashing your potatoes is warm. So I'll heat it up. It's a little bit warm right now. But we'll heat it up and keep it on low heat as we're mashing the potatoes, because that will help everything become nice and creamy. Okay. So you'll notice the burners that I'm using here. And these are portable burners that we use at Hip Cooks Cooking School, because it allows, allows us to move the burners around so our students get an opportunity to have their hands-on experience. They work exactly like your burners at home. So if you have gas, it's exactly the same. If you have electric, it'll, it'll work too. So don't be discouraged by these thinking, what the heck are they? Okay, slowly pour your milk and butter into your mashed potatoes. And this is where we start to mash. Okay, be gentle with your potatoes. If you mash too hard or for too long, they'll get gummy and they'll be gross. So of course the skins aren't going to break up. You'll have yummy, nice, bitey, fibrous, tasty skins in there, which really do add a nice flavor. Okay, so that's partially mashed. Put in about a, a teaspoon of salt to start. And ground white pepper is nice for mashed potatoes instead of the black pepper because it really blends in, you don't see it. This is about a quarter of a teaspoon. So start light because you'll taste it along the way. Pep 
for Santa make me sneeze. This is the roasted garlic that I've started to add in, which will give it that nice flavor. So mashed potatoes are something that you want to have finished about a half hour before you serve them. If they sit around for too long, they'll get really gummy. So the overmixing and the letting set don't really result in nice mashed potatoes. So what you'd want to do if you need to hold them is take the bowl that you've mashed them in and place them in a bigger bowl that has a little bit of water and have that, bowl, that water on a low simmer. Cover this with foil and that will keep them nice and warm until you are ready to serve. Okay. That pepper. I like my mashed potatoes a little chunky and mash. No, I like my mashed potatoes a little chunky and with the dirty, so with the skin. Uh, if you are looking for super pureed, you can use a ricer or just keep mashing with your um, potato masher here. I don't recommend putting them in a Cuisinart or a blender because you'll end up getting that gummy flavor that we want to avoid. So give your potatoes a taste. Mm, delightful. If you want creaminess, add more butter, add more milk if you'd like. I think they're perfectly salted with a teaspoon of salt and about a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. So that's mashed potatoes, roasted garlic mashed potatoes. If there are any other dishes you'd like to see me prepare, please send an email to requestatmahalo.com. And in the meantime, check out our other videos.